So it's time for us to go ahead and show you how to use iOS 17 to take full page screenshots. Now, there's a few things to keep in mind. One, not every single you know screenshot you take can be a full page screenshot. Sometimes they will be smaller ones, sometimes they won't be the full size. So just keep that in mind. That's always been something that you kind of have to keep in mind here. Now, let's say we wanted to go and take a screenshot of this nine to five Mac, you know, article, or better yet, let's go into apple.com. If we wanted to take a full page screenshot, Safari is a great way to do it. So what we can do is we can start off by basically screenshotting uh, as we normally would. So go ahead and click on the volume up button and the power button on the side at the same time to take a screenshot. If you have a home button iPhone, it'd be the power button and the, you know, the home button. So click on both those buttons and you will see basically a screenshot taken. Now what you want to do is you want to tap on that screenshot that was in the bottom left. So tap on that bottom left screenshot icon. And what you're going to want to do here is you want to go ahead and tap on that little share button that is right there. And then what you want to do is you want to look for a little thing. And then what you want to do is when you're on this page, you want to look for that full page option. So if you click on full page, you will see that it will basically show you after I do that, it will show you basically a full page of the screenshot in which you just took. So now if you want, you can go ahead and basically see that entire page. It looks like there's a glitch within iOS 17, but that is basically how it's done. Now I'm going to go ahead and redo this. So we're going to try it one more time. And it looks like this is a glitch within iOS 17, but normally you would take a screenshot like this, you would tap full page and it would take a full page screenshot and you can basically save it as you normally would. Now, one other thing to keep in mind, like I said, not every application is suitable here. So you can go ahead and take a, a screenshot like this, for example, and you can go and open up the screenshot, but you can see there's no full page option. Not every app has it, but the apps that do will show you that little full page option. And that's basically all you're going to have to do is just tap on full page and you'll basically be able to save the screenshot that way. So that's pretty much how it's done. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.